Isn't going well. No panic. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... you know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there. Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! What was that? Metal face. Stay alert! You killed my father! Get him! Get away from her! No, no. Let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You... You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> but you're... How's it going, Dunman? Is that... Munkar. I thought it might be, but you're to blame for all this. I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this 
puny boy even figured out how it works yet? What are you willing to do? Would you even kill a Homs to beat us? You dare ask that of us? Why did you betray us from Econis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You want to know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So, unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... <sighs> so what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> We will not bow to you! Will you hit bad guy in face? Uh, you'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar. And you're not getting away. This little get together! Right! I'm feeling it! Shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! That light! It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mechonis, an agent of Mainen. Leader of Mechonis? So you're the one who controls the Mechon? I am he, 
We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionic. Why? Why do you transform us in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the Connie. Come and visit any time, Dunban! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionis. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you! Fiora! Fiora. Shulk. She's... Get it together, Shulk. <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. We gotta get her back. Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mekonis and find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. The Mekon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Yes. We will get Fiora back. of the Mekonis. The entire valley below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems... unnatural. What do you mean? Look. That flowing light. From the way it glows, it has to be ether. But it looks like it's being... drawn in by something. By the fortress. It should just be up ahead. Father once told me that the Mekonis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. So the Mekonis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well.
They look so big, even from this distance. The fortress must be enormous. Galahad Fortress, the frontline base of the Mechon. The Mechon that attack Bionis must all come from here. Then, there's a high probability that he's there. The golden Mechon that took Fiora. We're about to enter the Mechon stronghold. If there's anyone who wants to turn back now. Shulk, friend should no split up. No leave friend behind. Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky. He's right. Okay, let's go. Yes. What's that? A supply convoy. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Dixon! Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mechon. What are you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man.
Hey there. Fiora? You mean Dumban's sister? Yes. So that's why you're all looking so down. I can't believe they're sticking Homs into those faced Mekon. Looks like they weren't just eating us. They made Mumkar into one. He was the one who attacked Colony 9. Oh, and there was me thinking he snuffed it in that battle. Aren't you surprised? That he attacked Colony 9? I don't know what drives those Mekon. I've given up trying to figure them out. It don't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Still, Munker as well, eh? Things are getting interesting. Sorry? Oh, nothing. It is time for us to return. I would like to continue providing assistance, but my help is required in assembling Homs for the Allied Force. There are also my duties as Seer to consider. Then I'll be off too. You lot should be alright getting Fiora back. In the meantime, we'll be getting ready for battle. Thanks for coming this far. We'll be fine. We can handle ourselves. Galahad Fortress is a key position for the Mekon. You can't just rush in, all guns blazing. Agreed. We will infiltrate via the Aether Inlets. If I'm right and the Mekon do feed off Aether, then we're sure to find some form of influx channel. Our objective is to reach one of those channels. Don't go dying on me, Shulk. I won't. You take care as well. Cheers. Looks like it's just us. Right. We head for the hilt of the sword. Galahad Fortress. Okay. One year on. Now, at last, we will seize our destiny. Isn't that right, Shulk? So another has appeared with the ability to wield the Monado. But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. Yet he relinquishes it to that mere child. And the face escaped my control and acted alone. Now that the Monado has been free, it appears the usefulness of the faces has come to an end. Although, perhaps there are still things to be learnt from having them challenge the boy. <laughs> <laughs> 